Hey my beauties! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very highly requested video that you guys have been asking for a while and it is what I eat in a day. So I just picked a random day and I decided to film everything that I eat. So if you guys are interested in knowing what I eat in a day, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is preparing my apple cider vinegar water. I do this almost every single day. I usually stop every other month. For this month, uh, obviously I am taking it. So what I do is I shake it up and then I pour two tablespoons onto my glass of water and then I fill it up with about eight to 10 ounces of water. Um, normally I think they say it's eight ounces. And I always drink mine with a straw because I have heard that it could um, damage your teeth. Sometimes in the mornings I do have the feeling of like wanting to drink Drink it and it tastes like a sour lemonade but then there's other days where it's like just pure disgusting but I truly don't mind it because it has a lot of great healthy benefits to it so if you guys want to read more about it and why it's healthy for you I have a link down below where it, it can explain to you guys in detail about it so once I'm done drinking my apple cider vinegar I fill up my water bottle and I head to the gym because obviously I exercise in the morning and also for those of you that are going to be wondering, my water bottle is from Urban Outfitters. So now for my post-workout smoothie. This one is so delicious. What I do is I use 100% whole grain oatmeal and I use two dates. Depending on how many people you're going to be doing the smoothie for, I would suggest, you know, cut it down into those portions. But I also use a piece of papaya four strawberries and then I do my two scoops of protein which this one is from Looks Fitness that I just got and then to top it all off I add um, unsweetened almond milk so I pour that all into the blender and the blender that I use is Blendtec which is so good or either the other one that I also have is the Vitamix and those two make the perfect smoothies very smooth very creamy and yummy oh so delicious but this smoothie even though it has papaya I know a lot of you are gonna be like that's disgusting it smells horrible but trust me once you blend it all together it tastes amazing and it's super sweet and also you do not smell the papaya and the reason I drink this smoothie like this is because it says online that this smoothie is great for belly burning fat so there you go now moving on to my actual breakfast this is what I'm going to be eating for breakfast which is almost every day as well but I, I, I'm using right now the 100% whole grain bread from Ezekiel this one I get it from Trader Joe's and again I only take one slice I'm just adding four because of course I eat breakfast with my whole family and then also I'm going to have egg whites with only one yolk because you still want your good fat so what I'm gonna season it with is black pepper garlic powder and then some basil I don't use salt because I am trying to lower my sodium and I mean it's not bad if you add salt you can add salt as well but I'm just trying to lower my sodium mostly my egg because I would always use a lot of salt in my egg so yeah I'm just trying to reduce that and next I'm gonna take a little bit of grapeseed oil apply a little bit maybe you could say like one tablespoon of this on the pan and then before adding the egg I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach just to have a little bit of greens in my breakfast I am trying to like you know be more healthy you could say but um yeah i'm gonna add my egg and then i'm just gonna make it like into a scrambled egg and after once it's done cooking i pretty much turn it off and yeah there you go and it's very delicious now the only thing i'm gonna do before i start eating it is make myself a cup of coffee i love coffee in the mornings i can't let go of it and this is my favorite coffee the donut one and it's the regular one not the dark roast or the light one it's just the you know regular one and i do 12 ounces but usually i always share my cup with my husband um, and then I'm only gonna add creamer and this one is from Trader Joy's it's the soy creamer um, I cut down on the half and half creamer and I don't add sugar like I said I'm also trying to reduce my sugar intake so there you go now for a little bit of sweet in my toast I'm gonna add a little bit of strawberry jam um, usually I'll switch in and out I'll either do peanut butter or either the strawberry jam and today I decided to go with strawberry and then yeah this is my breakfast and once I was done with my breakfast I filled up again my water bottle and I drank it throughout the day and up until my first snack so here's my first snack in between you know my breakfast and lunch I'm going to just have pineapple I love 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 pineapple I guess it's safe to say this is my favorite fruit and what do I love adding? tahin I cannot eat fruit without tahin I mean you, how can you eat just fruit by itself like that's just weird you know but I add a lot of tahin and it is so delicious I almost have this snack almost every day as well. So now moving on to my lunch, my delicious 
chicken bowl. First, I'm gonna take out my chicken from the freezer and I'm gonna leave it there sitting in my sink for a couple of hours until it's not frozen anymore and it's ready to be cooked. But once it's ready, I'm gonna add this chicken seasoning and then roasted garlic. That's all I'm gonna do until it's pretty much covered up the whole entire chicken. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of um, the grapeseed oil and then remove it with a little napkin or something just to have just a little bit in there just so like you know the chicken won't stick onto the pan. And then I'm gonna add all of the chicken in there and I'm just gonna wait until it is finished cooking. And once it's done, I'm gonna also do a little bit of wild rice and wild and brown rice. And then I'm just gonna add water. I'm not gonna add any seasoning to it, but I'm also gonna make a little bit of quinoa. I uh, just add a little bit of um, the grapeseed oil, I add a little bit of the quinoa, I mix it up and then before I add the water, I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. So I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper and then turmeric powder. I love just these two, it's pretty simple. But yeah, once I'm done adding those two, I'm just going to add water and then let it boil until it's fully cooked. Um, but then I'm, after I'm going to leave that, you know, cooking, I'm also going to cook or cook. I'm going to cut a little bit of this lettuce and then after it's done, I'm pretty much going to, you know, prepare my bowl already. So I'm going to add a little bit of beans that my mom had already made and then I'm going to add the quinoa, the brown rice, and then as well my chicken. I'm going to mix it all up and it's going to be so delicious. We actually got this idea of making this chicken bowl from a restaurant that we would always go to. But yeah, it's so delicious and I'm also going to be um, drinking of course with another water bottle so by this time I had already refilled it up so then after that I'm gonna have another sack snack in between my dinner so I'm gonna have my organic Greek non-fat yogurt I love Greek yogurt um, I wish I can eat this Greek yogurt plain but unfortunately I just cannot so I go with vanilla and I eat it plain I don't add nuts or anything and also my cousin he said I came over and she had this yummy delicious treat from foster freeze and it's pretty much ice cream so i just had three bites i couldn't help myself <laughs> but then for dinner i promise you guys i usually do eat very healthy for dinner because it's mostly important for me but it was soccer day and so when it's soccer day i have to have pizza because that's what my family orders every time so i had two slices and that pretty much concludes what is my dinner which I don't regret it because it was so delicious. <laughs> and I obviously take off all the cheese and pepperonis. I, I, is there anyone else in like that? I just don't eat cheese, so don't judge me. But I also had my water bottle once again filled up and I drank that. But yeah, with that, my list, that concludes what I ate in a day. Let me know if you guys like this video. That way I can do them more often for you guys. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Mwah.